McCavity the Mystery Cat by T. S. Eliot. McCavity is a mystery cat. He's called the Hidden Paw, for he's the master criminal who can defy the law. He's the bafflement of Scotland Yard, the flying squad's despair, for when they reach the scene of crime, McCavity's not there. McCavity, McCavity, there's no one like McCavity. He's broken every human law. He breaks the law of gravity. His powers of levitation would make a fakir stare. And when you reach the scene of crime, McCavity is not there. You may seek him in the basement. You may look up in the air. But I tell you once and once again, McCavity is not there. McCavity is a ginger cat. He's very tall and thin. You would know him if you saw him, for his eyes are sunken in. His brow is deeply lined with thought. His head is highly domed. His coat is dusty from neglect. His whiskers are uncombed. He sways his head from side to side with movements like a snake. And when you think he's half asleep, he's always wide awake. Macavity, Macavity, there's no one like Macavity. For he's a fiend and feline shape, a monster of depravity. You may meet him in a by street. You may see him in the square, but when a crime's discovered, then McCavity's not there. He's outwardly respectable. They say he cheats at cards, and his footprints are not found in any file of Scotland Yards. And when the larder's looted, or the jewel case is rifled, or when the milk is missing, or another peak's been stifled. Or the greenhouse glass is broken and the trellis past repair. Aye, there's the wonder of the thing. McCavity's not there. And when the Foreign Office find a treaty's gone astray, or the Admiralty loses plans and drawings, by the way, there may be a scrap of paper in the hall or on the stair, but it's useless to investigate. McCavity's not there. And when the loss has been disclosed, the Secret Service say, it must have been Macavity, but he's a mile away. You'll be sure to find him resting or a licking of his thumb or engaged in doing complicated lung division sums. Macavity, Macavity, there's no one like Macavity. There never was a cat of such deceitfulness and suavity. He always has an alibi and one or two to spare. And whatever time the deed took place, McCavity wasn't there. And they say that all the cats whose wicked deeds are widely known, I might mention Mungo Jerry, I might mention Griddlebone, are nothing more than agents for the cat who all the time just controls their operations, the Napoleon of crime. In this poem, the poet personifies a cat named Macavity. He has compared the cat with many human-like qualities. He says that the cat disobeys the law and the police force is unable to catch him. He further describes Macavity as a special cat as he can float in the air and possess various other ma magical powers. The complete poem is based on describing Macavity, a perfect mystery cat. Stanza 1. The poet says that the cavity is a mystery cat and is known by the name of Hidden Paw. The first letters of the phrase mystery cat are written in capital, so the name is particular and proper. He is known as Hidden Paw because he is a master criminal and can defy the law. He is the bafflement of Scotland Yard and despair of the flying squad. Stanza 2. The poet repeats the word macavity. It suggests that police are searching for him everywhere. According to the poet, there is no one like macavity as he has broken every human law as well as the law of gravity. Macavity's powers of levitation can make a fakir stare. After committing a crime, he vanishes away. So when anybody reaches the scene of the crime, he will not be able to find him though he may search him on the ground or in the air. So the poet tells again that he is not there. It is useless to search for him. 
Stanza 3. The poet introduces him as a ginger cat as he is tall and thin. One will know that if he sees him. His eyes are sunken in. His eyebrows are deeply lined with thought. That is, it makes him look like a villain. His head is domed. His coat is dusty as he does not keep himself clean. His whiskers are uncombed and he keeps swaying his head from one side to the other that are similar to the movements of a snake. When someone would think that he is half asleep, in reality he is awake and in com complete sense. Stanza 4 According to the poet, no one is like McCavity as he is a find in the lion's shape. He is a monster of depravity. One can find and meet him in a by street or in the square, but after his crime is discovered, he vanishes away and cannot be found. Stanza 5 McCavity is outwardly respectable. That is, he is respected by people because some say that he cheats at cards. His footprints are never found in any file of Scotland Yard. However, he commits every crime whenever he loots the larder or steals jewels or milk or makes a peke stifled or breaks greenhouse glass or trellis, he vanishes away quickly and is never found there. Stanza 6 When the foreign officer finds a treaty gone astray or when the admiralty lose some plans and drawings by the way, they find them later on, but in the hall or on the stairs. But it is useless to investigate as McCavity vanishes away. When the loss is disclosed, the Secret Service would say that it was McCavity who did this. But now it is useless as he is already a mile away. One can find him either resting somewhere or licking his thumb or engaged in doing complicated long division sums. Stanza 7. In the final stanza, the poet says that no one is like McCavity as there can be no cat as deceitful and suave as him. Next, the poet tells that he does not commit crimes alone. He always has an alibi and one or two to spare. However, when the deed takes place, he vanishes away as always. In the next line, the poet says that his companions are also well known because of their crimes. He mentions their names as well, Mungo Jerry and Griddlebone. However, they are just agents for the cat who all the time are controlled by operations of the Napoleon of crime that is McCavity.